Attendants ready to fight back after an outbreak of unruly passengers in the skies. As WGN's Rob Sneed reports, workers convened a town hall meeting to call for greater protections and tougher penalties. Flight employees say they are tired of getting attacked by passengers and it's gotten significantly worse since the start of the pandemic. We have seen scenes like this play out over and over again. Shocking video of passengers attacking flight attendants. Airport workers being victims over and over and over again. I have said to my management, I need you to explain to me what happens when we respond. Because nobody talks about what happens to us should we fight back. Should we meet your violence with violence? I'm not encouraging that at all, but there's, there's, there's a tipping point for everybody. After a rise in the abuse of flight crews, customer service agents, and other workers, many are speaking out at the Air Rage Town Hall. The Chicago Federation of Labor's Airport Labor Committee held the event. Simple things that we're asking them to do, like becoming infuriates, I mean, furious and enraged because we asked them to just do simple things, and they continue to um, fly from one air, we ban them on American and they jump over to Delta. A recent association of flight attendants, CWA survey of flight attendants found that 85% reported dealing with unruly passengers. January 1st through September 21st, 4,385 unruly passengers were reported. That's more than twice as many as 2020. 3,199 were mask related. 17% were physical incidents. 61% reported racist, sexist, homophobic language. These incidents aren't just happening on planes. They are also taking place in terminals at the gates. The customers, they come very rudely. They impatient. They complain about, you know, they have a flight to catch. An assistant commissioner with the Chicago Department of Aviation says they are working with other airports, airlines, FAA, and other partners to implement a zero tolerance policy on disruptive behavior on planes. And the AFA is calling on the FAA and the Department of Justice to implement stricter fines and punishment for bad behavior on planes. Reporting at O'Hare International Airport, Rob Sneed, WGN News. Just ahead, the